All right, Jim, let's get another question here. This one was sent to CourtneyDriveThru at gmail.com from Phil in Whitehall, Pennsylvania. Oh, my old friend Phil McCracken. Not too far from a famous, very infamous motor lodge. That's what it says here. With all the recent talk about the cameras in AEW shooting ridiculously blatant blade jobs, it made me wonder if Jim knew at what point were the cameramen smartened up about the business. Say, for example, one wrestler has another wrestler in a headlock and is trying to call the next spots. Would the cameraman have known that maybe you shouldn't be getting a really tight close shot right now <laughs> when you could hear both of them or read their lips? Thank you for answering my question. Okay, there's not one blanket answer again. I'll try to succinctly cover a couple of possibilities. In the old days with studio TV and the wrestling program being done at different television studios by staff cameramen and staff directors and audio guys, you know, for one thing, thankfully, it wasn't high-def television, and if it was only like a two-camera, sometimes three-camera setup, there weren't a ton of close-ups. Studio wrestling, and you can even see the tapes from the 80s, where one was kind of a long shot and one was kind of halfway long. Every once in a while, they'd get a handheld in there, depending on the operation. But these people worked for the television studios, stations, and there was varying degrees of smartness in them. Most of them were not officially smartened up, but if they did the wrestling show every Saturday morning and they'd talk amongst themselves and they'd talk to the director, after a while they probably picked up on what not to shoot or that might not be good. And they they worked for the TV station. They want to do a good job, right? So there was that element of it. And a lot of times the promotion would have one person. Randy Hales used to do this in Memphis at Channel 5. But the promotion would have somebody that was smart, that were either the booker or one of the assistant bookers or somebody from the office that would be in the control room and kind of give the director advice, which they would be open to. Hey, yeah, you know, it's your program. What do you want me to shoot? And they'd say, oh, don't, don't shoot that or shoot this or whatever without actually smartening them up all the way. Then, you know, in, in more modern times, when they started doing more stuff on the road, they started taking more, you know, the big companies, they would take more of the cameramen on a regular basis so they would kind of know what was going on and then everything got opened up after that. So now, yes, they're all in a production meeting. They're all smartened up. They're all told what, either what's going to happen ahead of time or what is expected to happen ahead of time. And there's no secrets kept from them, but that's been a more recent development. But I think it, it's always a combination. It's how smart is the guy? How, what has he figured out on his own? And if he's a professional cameraman, he can kind of tell. But then again, the director is the one who tells the cameraman what to shoot in terms of, you know, Camera three, get close on the hold. Or camera three, you know, back up, zoom out, too close. The director, if he's telling, and the director is telling the technical director what shots to take. So if he's, if the director is looking at the monitor and the shot from camera three has a close up of the guy gigging himself, if the director knows what he's doing, he's taking the fucking wide shot from camera one where you can't tell what's going on. So it's not it's not as easy as just the cameraman being smart or the director being smart. There's a lot of moving parts, and the more cameras you use, the more cameramen you've got going on, then the busier the director is, and the more chance there is for something to go wrong, which is why I've never seen, I'll just say this and then I'll finish it, I've never seen what I've seen in AEW over the last three months on television in the way of catching people using blades out in the open, handing blades off, seeing blades in their hand. Cumulatively, in 40-something years of watching wrestling, I've never seen it as obvious as I've seen it the last three months on AEW television. It's not just the crew. It's the talent. It's everybody. 